It's the 20th. It's a Tuesday evening. We have another surf report coming at you. We have a big congestion in the sky. It kind of goes really congested and then there's nothing for a day. And then we come back to congested again. Lots of different um, things going on, but check out, well, let's check out the DreamBot first. And for those of you who are have been watching the DreamBots like last night at the National Dream Center, um, you've been seeing, you know, like weed and joint and beer and all that stuff has been rising up. Well, it's even worse today. And we have beer boyfriend revealed entirely deep, hot sex, weed bedroom, joint, interested gaming money. Okay, so there's a lot of, hmm, that's a big old party happening in the DreamBot. Very optimistic, by the way, like extreme excess. Remember that, excess. And then the blue arrows is all about learning and literature. Um, you know, it's very Mercury issue, writing, conference assignment so a little bit of learning in there so anyway that's that so let's go have a look at the stars and see where all this is coming from now this is the wednesday congestion and you know just about every one of these aspects has to do with excess the a either a perceived need for excess or we accidentally slip into it so guess what um, we have two oppositions three trines and one square. Now, it's not in that order. It's kind of all over the place, but let's talk about these. The The opposition with Neptune is probably first, so you're feeling confused about emotions. Moon is the emotions. Neptune is kind of the imagination. You're getting the wrong impression. It's on opposition. Wrong impression about others. You're getting the wrong empathy or the wrong signals from others, and your own emotions are confusing. So avoid psychic material. Then we have at 1.11, 1, 1, 1, 1 p.m. Central Time, that's Mercury goes opposite the moon. And we're having a tough time trying to communicate our emotions. So you can see we're trying, we're starting to get a little bit frustrated by these oppositions. And that might throw off this little gaggle of positive trine energy over to, say, Venus and Saturn and Pluto. Um, maybe having us, because these are kind of more in the um, afternoon and evening, Venus in particular, 3.45 p.m. This is very positive. It's about intimate relationships. There might be a little bit of finance in there. The moon at this time is progressing towards Pluto in Capricorn. Excuse me, I'm still having a problem there. Um, and then in the evening, so now you got all this positive energy, you're going into the evening feeling very good about yourself and, or could be, could be feeling very good about yourself. And so now you've got um, this general feeling of ease and so now we accidentally slip into this, this mindset of excess. This is exactly what the dream bot was saying. We're going to slip into, so you kind of early on, you're going to kind of get frustrated and then things are going to ease off more in the afternoon, early evening. And then boom, you're going to get hit with this square without, it's so insidious because the, the luck kind of, ends you didn't know that the energies changed because you're still having that good feeling but heightened emotional reactions moral decay watch for excess food drugs and alcohol wowzers that's exactly what the dream bot was saying all right then we go into thursday and there's really nothing to talk about the moon is going into libra that's a lot different but what I'm doing in this bot run or this uh, surf report is I'm going to skip all the way to Friday, the 22nd. Let me first make sure that is, yes, that is Friday. Just wanted to make sure. And look at this, all these reds. We've got three squares going here and then one square with between Mercury and Jupiter. Things are really contentious. This is on Friday. And... 
um, you know, the, the Mercury square, that's all about um, thoughts and travel and technology. Um, and it's in squares kind of disharmonious. So does the luck run out on your thinking on, on your planning on your learning? Um, luck being Jupiter and but basically you don't really have to know all these different aspects what you have to know is that energy is not really moving it's more stagnant as you can see all these stoppages there and that really lends itself to frustration and what is happens when we get frustrated let's go party woohoo Oh, well, for some of us, other others of us would probably want to um, go isolate ourselves and, you know, eat a bowl of ice cream. There's still excess there and the excess is in, in avoidance. All right. So let's talk about the solution, because this is going to be I'm, I, I, I saw an easy opportunity for a solution that's going to last the whole time. You know, the the one possibility was in the sidereal was Leo as the moon progresses, but it switches signs halfway through the week. So that's not going to work. And then uh, Mercury, there's not quite enough for an Aquarius, but what's easy is this gaggle here. Uh, because on Wednesday, we have this gaggle in, in a positive manner. And then on Friday, this square. So what we're going to do is go into Sagittarius and pull out the very best of Sagittarius. Now, the very best for this one to resolve conflict, if there's any conflict here or any energy um, blockages, here's the best. Ready? This is for the NDC. The very best of Sagittarius in this scenario is generosity. There's also optimism, but I have that for intervention. This is the National Dream Center um, Instagram picture, Facebook, and it's just a reminder just to bring out your best Sagittarius optimism and generosity and enthusiasm. Here's the optimism version for inner Zenshin. And we have two um, interviews on inner Zenshin radio this week and our first live Inner Zension radio broadcast is going to be on Thursday evening, 6 p.m. Central. Go to YouTube and find Inner Zension. Subscribe so that you can get the updates on when that's going live. And then you can comment, you can ask questions and whatnot. All right, so this is the Inner Zension energy playbook. So do, this is all Sagittarius. Be the best, see the best in all. That's this, this little lens here where we're seeing the best in what's out there and you're being generous and enth enthusiastic. But don't, don't be on the downside of Sagittarius, which is carelessness, being overconfident, and definitely don't be confrontational. We already know what's going to happen with confrontation here. It's just... It, you know, with uh, the influence of harmony, this, you know, Libra, Libra being the influence of harmony. Um, if you align with Sagittarius, with the best of Sagittarius, you get both both worlds. You're going to get harmony and you're going to create positive karma with that. And, and the neat thing here with the Sagittarius solution is that you're not going to be dragged down by all this conflicted stopping energy. All right. That's the beauty of this sidereal solution. All right. There's probably a lot more that we could talk about, but I, I really think I feel really good about this particular solution. It's going to stay with you all the way to the weekend. And uh, unless something strange happens, I'm not going to have a surf report on Thursday night because I got three different um, things that I have to get done, including a client session, a new intervention radio interview, and then I've got a class after that. So that's a wrap, folks. Thanks for being here and thanks for sharing and commenting and all that. We're we're on some strong momentum here. Thanks to you all. Uh, we'll see you soon. <laughs>